Have you ever tried an eclair? Have yes, you? Yes, of course. Uh, that, that's one of my abs absolute favorite. <laughs> it's a signature French dessert which is made with choux dough filled with cream and topped with chocolate. And did you know eclair means flash of lightning in French? People say it was named eclair because people can eat eclair in a flash thanks to its soft texture and sweet flavor. It's obviously nothing compared to the actual speed of lightning, which travels around the Earth twice in one second. It's gotta mean you eat that fast. Right. Even when you're immersed in something you love, like eating sweet bread, it feels like time passes by in a flash. So don't be sad to think time flies too fast because that just means you're filling your life with what you truly love. And just like that, I hope today's radio clock will go by in a flash of lightning for everyone who's just tuning in right now for the next an hour. I'm your special DJ Key. And I'm Pretty Little Iris. Let's kick off today's hour on Radio Clock with Sweet Chaos by Day6.
Would you like a cup of tea with us? Tea time Thursday! Hello, it's course, Thursday. Of course I can get that timing right. Yeah, we were going to do tea time Thursday together, together, but he was just, you know, busy holding his cup of tea. Tea. Yes, well, it's tea time Thursday. It Iris is. and Key are back Yay. as special DJs. How are you? It's Pretty been a good. while. <laughs> Not well. I mean, actually, I was at, I was here about uh, twelve, thirteen hours ago because I was doing were, the news. Yeah, so midnight yeah. and feels like home. It feels like yeah, home. Yes, um, Key and Iwis are here today because Ashley is sick. But Ashley is in the chat right now. She's she is? Saying, yeah, she's saying I'm feeling a lot better. I can't wait to go outside. And she's like, I want to meet our guest today as well. So let's just get straight into introducing our guest. Yay. Who do we have? Chef, the legend, <laughs> Iwan Yu Chef Panim. Hello. Introduce yourself to our listeners. Well, nice to meet you back, all the viewers and listeners of Arirang TV and Arirang Radio. I'm Chef Lee, uh, previously a host of Tour Avatar around five years ago on wow. Arirang TV. And now I'm back here with this radio thing. Nice to meet you back. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> like, I had no idea, like, there was a whole, like, um, TV show where uh -huh. um, our chef Iwanya was on it because when he came in, he Are started you like, I'm you so not sorry. Know? I'm so sorry. No, it's because when he came in, our Hijip you and our chef Iwanya, they were like screaming and hugging each other. And I was like, oh, wow. so you guys are friends? Yeah, we actually went over. Every single place on Korean Peninsula, no. oh, literally my gosh. everywhere for so, the show. For the show, and I heard you guys can rewatch it on YouTube as well. Yeah. Uh -huh. If you search uh, what Hantasia, 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 Hantasia. Well, actually, I cook Korean food. It was filmed very in super good quality. Oh, uh -huh. That was okay. actually produced by. Nice. Uh, the lady over there. Oh, <laughs> he's a pity me. He's a pity me. Yes, Wait, guys. Hello? <laughs> yeah, so you guys should check that out if you guys want to. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Ashley is here. She was like, oh, I want to meet you on your ship and you too. But too bad, Ashley, today, Key and well, I maybe, are here. Uh, maybe one ship and you can later tell us uh, on some of the recipe that's good for COVID patients or sick patients. Oh, okay. Because Ashley's sick right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, heard. we I'm have sorry. a bunch of tips from you want your chef name today yeah. mm -hmm. um also guys heads up if you guys checked our twitter you would know but we're gonna do a very special corner a bit later mm. where we're gonna look at a picture of your refrigerator guys <gasps> and we're yes. gonna send you guys hot tips straight from our chef iwan Yi. so send in a picture of your fridge guys yes. please and we're gonna have our little special corner a bit later okay um so by the way because this is a tea time thursday i was wondering what tea uh, our chef has chosen yes oh, what has the chef chosen the, wow <laughs> i never knew that i really have to reveal what i'm drinking but I'm, it's our gray Earl gray. Earl gray is there I, a reason uh it's, it's just my personal preference oh. i just love the fragrance uh, from the magamo tree oh uh, it's <gasps> super thick we're getting very professional, yes. <laughs> professional. <laughs> See, that's the difference we would just say oh it smells nice yes. and it's like, <laughs> oh i love the smells from the I magamo like the tree <laughs> Oh, this green. <laughs> yeah. well, actually, I cook for life, so yeah, right. I really have to study and learn, yeah. and I have to know uh, what it means. Then, this is my personal preference. So, I usually also make lots of desserts with our <gasps> gray. We have yeah. to talk about yes. this. Um, Later. She is pang <laughs> suni, dessert suni. She loves every that everything just, that's made with flour. I eat bread for every single meal of my day. Like that's not even an exaggeration. Mm -hmm. And I knew about all of the bakeries that Iwonyo Chef Panim had mm -hmm. but I was like it was on my bank kit list <laughs> like my bank kit list That's yeah but my list. bread kit okay. list and he came today and I was like oh my gosh now it's my chance I really have to go well, I came here with nothing empty oh, hands empty hands How I'm sorry <laughs> but, um, when you actually uh, think about it a lot of people think you as a, a Korean uh, food specialist mm -hmm. or chef mm. but how did you uh, end up well obviously you're doing a lot of different things but how did you end up doing the bakery uh, well when I when I started uh, cooking and learning Korean food I really wanted to kind of collaborate all the skills and 
different skill sets and different ingredients into Korean food. Oh. That's why I, uh, I worked with chefs who are specialized in Western cuisine. Mm -hmm. And at that time, actually, uh, there was dessert section right behind me. Oh, then okay. I learned how to make bread and dessert from them. <gasps> oh. So I, I started learning bread from then. Then I ended up also opening up a, <laughs> a, a branded uh, bakery, bakery of my own, mm -hmm. which is called Bimia. Then actually, it's quite near. It's around yeah. like you know five minute walk away yeah, from exactly. here. Exactly, and it's yeah. pretty big. Have you seen it? It's mm. right in front of the museum, the art center. The solar center. Yeah. Ah, I you should go try there. later. Oh, yeah. I'll, just, I'll go stop by right now. Yeah, 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 sure. exactly. Yeah. And so you're doing bakeries. You're doing a lot of TV shows. You're a chef. You're so busy, busy as a chef. But <sighs> you started. You know, cooking at a later age than usual people? Yes. Well, actually, my profession started when I was around 27 or 8. Wow. Oh, something okay. like that. I'm considering my... I don't want to reveal. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm 43. Oh, and then, okay. So it's been around 15, 16 years You already. don't look 43 uh, at all. I Thank thought you were you. a little younger than me. <laughs> 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 but like, well, of course, like uh, starting a profession in around uh, 27 or 28 years of age is kind of like late, I know. Mm -hmm. But um, I really worked hard and tried to learn as many things as possible mm -hmm. then uh wanted to catch up uh, the things that I uh, really wanted to learn, especially mm -hmm. not only Korean cuisine, as I said, uh, Western cuisine skill sets and bakery. And also I studied, uh, I graduated my college in the Philippines. Oh, so, right. Yeah, uh, Southeast Asian cuisines as well. So. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. And It's I, all here. Yeah, it's, wow. and we can see that you worked so hard because mm -hmm. obviously you're a star chef. You're so famous, but I heard there's a plot twist. Yeah, I mean, oh. back in the uh, back in college uh, when I was in Japan, I had a part time job in a Korean barbecue place, and I had to like clean the those grills every time <sighs> with the grease all over. Mm -hmm. And um, I heard that he had to clean fourteen dish, uh, fourteen hundred dishes a day. Oh in one God. single day. One single day. Actually, that's kind of like, you know, the minimum uh, numbers of dishes that I have to uh, do uh, per wow. day. Like, oh. Sometimes like uh, Christmas season, yeah. the peak days, uh, it becomes <gasps> oh around like, gosh. you know, 3,000 to 4,000. Were wow. your hands wow. okay? Well, like yeah, but, you know, that's what uh, chefs do. Of course, we mm -hmm. have dishwashers as well, but yeah. like, you know, we have to rinse and we have to clean all the dirt over right. it. But, oh um, my god! Still, it's a really tough job. Then we have to work standing for at right. least yeah. like uh, at least eight hours, but sometimes it becomes 16 to 18 hours. Then mm -hmm. oh my gosh. it's really tough, but we enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Wow. But like, I also heard before you were a chef, you were actually a math tutor in Manila. <laughs> is, that, is that true? I cannot imagine Imagine you uh, yeah. doing something other than cooking. Well, of course, in Korea, uh, the math curriculum, mathematics curriculum is really tough. It's, we really yeah. have to like, you know, uh, go through lots of books and things. Yeah. So when I went to the Philippines, actually, uh, my friends, uh, my friends asked me to uh, teach them how to Ooh. like, you know, do a certain parts of the mathematics. And mm. also uh, there were... Korean, uh, Korean young, like little students yeah. uh, wanted to learn uh, mathematics uh, mm -hmm. in Korean and in English uh, oh. at the same time. So Perfect teacher. Yeah, I so was. So you were the perfect teacher. Okay. Then the thing is, I, can kinda Im I can't imagine, because I think about it, like math and uh, you know, cooking, cooking. kind of sort of go together because you need yeah. exact, precise measurements oh. and combinations. So yeah, I can, I can see that he, <laughs> how he, catch ups, he caught up so, so quick. Mm, okay. And also you do, you just mentioned beforehand, you do so many different various genres of cooking, mm -hmm. like Korean food, Chinese food, mm -hmm. Japanese food. You do everything, but what is like your pride? Like, oh, this is my thing. Mm, this is my thing. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, it's Korean food. Korean food. Korean food. Korean food. Is I, there a reason? Well, I grew up with Korean food. Mm -hmm. Then I... Uh, the... Uh, the special thing about my, my career actually started from uh, learning things from my grandmother oh. and my mother over oh. their shoulder. So, okay. yeah, well, 
of course, uh, they, uh, when I was super little, uh, there was no uh, such thing, something like, you know, going out, dining out oh. or something. Because, right. you know, not many restaurants, like, uh, you know, these days. Yeah, so right. Before, everything was cooked at home. Uh -huh. Then I learned everything from them. Oh. Even making Korean Chang, the fermented <laughs> sauces. Sauces. Yeah, doenjang, uh -huh. gochujang, <laughs> with the pru, like everything. Oh my gosh. Even, yeah. even making makgeolli, then <gasps> uh, wow. making vinegar out of it. Like, oh yeah. my gosh, like All making the Korean style alcohol, makgeolli, mm -hmm. and then making vinegar out of That's like just OG, everything <laughs> OG, like... No cheating. Uh, it's like you're doing everything step by step. I was trained since four. <laughs> yeah, you were trained since you were four, helping so your I mother. Was, I was quite young, or I'm a bit younger than him. But but uh, if I recall it right, like when we were young, um, we all the ajumas around the town would get together, and then we have like. Mm make a hot paste together, kuchijang together, yes. and then normally have like a son uh, who's about uh, 12, 15 years old coming in and then he's like, steer this. Steer this. <laughs> my, okay. hands are, my hands are <laughs> so stiff, you know, and I, Never I was leave. one of them. Never, Never leave. leave the spot. <laughs> Don't, you stay Keep there. Stirring. After that, I'm going to give you a bit of a suyuk, then you'll stay. Okay, so, <laughs> you'll get a treat after that. Yeah. Uh, so what do you think your signature menu is, like wow. Il special? That's really hard. Mm -hmm. It's really hard. Yeah, because you do yeah. so many things. Well, um, it's it's not that you know I'm really confident at everything on mm -hmm. everything, but uh, I I would say I'm really good at making my own version of kimchi. Ooh. Oh my god! Uh, oh wow. yeah. Actually, I I have my uh, own version of own uh, signature kimchi, which is called uh, cilantro. Kosu wow. kimchi, Korean Cilantro kimchi. kimchi. Oh. That's also my favorite too. And I also I, I run kimbap stores. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. In New York mm. too, oh. uh, kimbap stores. So I also I'm very specialized in uh, rolling wow. kimbap. Rolling kimbap. It's kimbap. so hard too. It's so hard to <laughs> get that precise. Definitely gotta go and check <laughs> like, that out. Yeah, guys, if you're in New York, yes. please check out the kimbap store that he's he's um, running please. in New York. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. <laughs> and I want to really try the cilantro kimchi. I've never heard of it before. No, I mean cilantro kimchi. Well, I've tried many different kimchi. I even uh, tried the kimchi with persimmon. Mm. I made kam kimchi <gasps> before. Kam kimchi. Wow. Yeah, it's, it was pretty good, but even especially with the steak. But cilantro, Ooh, I've never tried cilantro. it before. Cilantro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank you. We're, we're just here, like, give us food. I will come back with bakery like, you know, food. Yeah, full of hands, like Yay, kimchi okay. bread, everything. And also, you love eating, so I just wanted to ask a few questions based mm -hmm. on your taste. Mm -hmm. um, we're gonna do the basic is it jajangmyeon or jjampong? <gasps> oh, it's kind of like you know, the, the word yeah. 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 oh, yeah. 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 ornament, black okay. bean, or is it the spicy noodles? Wow, I would go for the spicy noodle. Uh, okay. Jampong, okay. From now on, from now, it's got to be quick because he, okay. can, he can't think. It's we quick, don't give it time quick. to think, right? Three seconds. Okay. All right, so Next. kimbap tteokbokki. One, two, three. Kimbap, of course. Kimbap. Okay. Gosu bara. One, two, three. Gosu. Cilantro. Okay. Jogegui lobster. Uh, lobster. Samgyeopsal <laughs> <laughs> hamburger. Oh, no. Samgyeopsal no. hamburger. Three, two, one. one. Two, three. No. Samgyeopsal. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Gansuyo seu, chili, chili cheese fry. Chili cheese fries, of course. Chokbal <laughs> dakbal. <laughs> Chokbal. Mayak padak chili cheese fry. Oh, my. <laughs> Until when are we going to do Whoa. this? <laughs> padak, please. Padak. Yes. Okay, we have okay. Uh, five more. <laughs> Donkasu dueji kopdegi. Dueji kopdegi, please. Kebul <laughs> bondegi. Wow. Kebul. <laughs> shabu shabu samgyetang. Both of them. Oh, samgyetang. Okay, one last one. Soju mekju. Soju mekju. Ah, so mek, please. So mek. <laughs> That's actually a smart yeah. answer. We'll let that slip because we do have to listen to a song. Okay. Uh, but we have a quiz, guys, and the quiz is. Uh, we all have our soul foods. Personally, my soul food is bread. What's your soul food key? Me. Mm -hmm. All the food that exists out there. Okay, yeah. yes. so he just loves all food. <laughs> but our quiz right now is what is Iwani Shepunim's soul food? Ooh. Can you tell us our choices wow. yourself? Okay, uh, soul food, bulgogi, kimchi and rice, japchae, glass noodle, bibimbap. Oh. Yes, yeah, so it's one of these. 
Yeah. This is the quiz right now. Mm. Number one, bulgogi. Number two, kimchi and rice. Number three, chapte. Glass noodles. Number four, bibimbap. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? That that just scared me. But yeah, we're you guys. Please send us the answer through our chat or send message board or email. And don't forget to send a picture of your fridge for fridge. 냉장고를 부탁해. Take care of my refrigerator later. And we're gonna go listen to cheeses. 오늘의 기분. Today's mood. You guys are listening and watching Radio Clock on both out here on radio and TV right now. And if you want to join us on Radio Clock, if you have anything you'd like to share with me, especially the picture of your refrigerator, or if you have a song request you want to listen to, please send us your message. Radio Clock Tea Time Thursday. We are here with Iwan Yeshepnim, and we gave you guys a quiz. What is the soul food of Iwan Yeshepnim? Let's look at the comments. All what right. they're saying. Um, Ashley is saying. They probably they always trick us with these questions, yeah. oh. so it's probably all four or none of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, but all four of them are we're, such good foods. We're not yeah. that bad. Wow, yeah. but we're not. Pity <laughs> It's it's a bit interesting. 
Wow. It's so interesting because. Hold on. So uh, we gotta let them know uh, what is Chef Won Il Soul food. Number mm. one, bulgogi. Number two, kimchi and rice. Number three, japchae, the glass noodle. And number four was bibimbap. Well, uh, unfortunately, so far yes. <laughs> on our chat, uh, the chat, I don't think I'm seeing. The, the, answer. the answer. Yeah, I mean, we, so you're gonna be the first one. Quick, pick, quick, pick, quick. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna listen to the trailer sound and then please reveal the answer. The yes. answer is. The answer is number two: Ooh. kimchi and rice. We have a we have a video. <laughs> Okay, right. Hey. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the, like, you yes. know, all these mukbang photos. Yes. Oh, he's a PD new, huh? The combination. <laughs> <laughs> She's having the time of her life uh, today. So really many pictures. You're anti to fan of mine. Oh. Anti one. Actually, <laughs> he, he got a, kind of gave us a hint when he was talking about his uh, signature food. Right. He has uh, cilantro kimchi. Mm. Cilantro kimchi. Um, but why did, did uh, kimchi and rice become your uh, soul uh, food? Well,. I kind of love the umami, kamchilmat ah. of kimchi. When it ferments, mm -hmm. it naturally produces uh, amino acid uh, ah. things, mm. the umami, kamchilmat. Yeah. Yeah. And that's very important mm -hmm. uh, when you taste something. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of like, and also it, it is kind of addiction. Right. Once yeah. you are addicted to this kamchilmat umami, mm -hmm. uh, then it that's becomes Japanese your word, right? You know, yeah. Umami, but umami we we use it like worldwide. Worldwide. Right? Yeah, so, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we kind of like you know uh, gets addicted to the food. Mm -hmm. oh. Then I'm actually super very much addicted to rice and kimchi. That's super simple meal, but I can be satisfied 365 of that. Really? How, how many? How many uh, rice is rice bowl with kimchi? If you get like really good kimchi, four at least. <laughs> at, at least four. <laughs> wow. okay, okay, okay. You guys be careful. If you if you're addicted to kimchi, that's that's it, guys. Be mm, careful. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so when we talk about Iwan Yu Chef Ni, we cannot take out denjango to protect it. Please take care of my refrigerator, which was a TV series that was like viral a few years ago in Korea. It was huge. It was, it was huge. huge. Yeah. It's where these stars, celebrities, bring in their fridge, like mm -hmm. their actual refrigerator later and these chefs have to cook a dish from the ingredients mm -hmm. they have in their fridge in 15 minutes mm -hmm. 15. the 15 minute was really tough how like how i literally had so many questions about that like you know afterward question for example like uh, is it is really it 15 real, minutes real, yeah 15 minutes number one number two <laughs> is it like real refrigerator like mm. you know didn't they they didn't clean it's like raw as from mm. like from uh, the celebrity's house yeah. like all those questions mm -hmm. so 15 minutes like for real. For, For real. real. Not even one more sec. Oh I was, God. yeah. So uh, sometimes uh, my colleague then, uh, Kim Pung, Chef mm -hmm. Nim, yes. the, the uh, webtoon writer, writer, writer. Yes. yeah. Uh, he sometimes uh, did not finish his dish. Mm -hmm. so <laughs> In he, 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> after pouring his uh, stuff on a dish, it, it looks like something like, you know, somebody stepped on it or something. So. <laughs> <웃음> 김풍 셰프님 혹시 이 말을 반박하실 거면 당장 라디오 클럭에 다음 주에 나와 주시기 바라겠습니다. But like, uh, so uh, people kept on asking whether it was really for 15 minutes or not. So mm -hmm. we kind of like invited, invited oh. our viewers to the studio. Mm -hmm. Then oh, we, to prove it. Yeah, to prove it, to mm -hmm. show them like, you know, we That's really do real. it for mm -hmm. uh, 15 minutes and they were really shocked. Wow. Because we were, yeah. Uh, camera to when it uh, is shown on yeah, camera, show on camera, like you know, it looks a bit slower, right. uh, but when you see it in actual right, action, right, right. it's super fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, it's 15 minutes. Like, I was actually even know, opposite because like, the thing is, when you actually look at a variety show, you film like two, three hours, mm -hmm. and it's only shown two, three minutes on the mm -hmm. TV, mm -hmm. but probably for him, it's the opposite way 15 minutes, but on TV, because we like uh, show the reactions yeah. of yeah. other people, so it looked long, but it's actually 15 minutes. Oh my gosh, okay. So, in the meantime, we have prepared our own version of oh. Nengjango to Putake. Oh, so, yeah? Radio Clog 8 or Nengjango to Putake. So uh, we have all our listeners sending their pictures of their own refrigerator from Ooh. all over the world. So we can't wait to see what we have. And if you can, our chef Lee will tell us what to make with those ingredients. Mm -hmm. Okay, please show us the first picture of our listeners' refrigerator. Wow. 
Wow. Where is it? Why is it? It's probably a great picture. Nothing in the fridge? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do they oh, have this? Oh, okay. It's a, a cream cheese. Some cheese. Is that rice? It's watermelon. Rice watermelon, apple mango, cheese. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Cheese, cheese. Is that cream cheese? And yogurt, maybe? I think okay. so. Okay, is that beer? That's a beer. I think beer. So. Or soda water? I think it's it's beer. And is that peach? Yeah. No, it's apple There's mango. Apple mango. Oh, apple mango. All right, wow. so what can we make with that? It's really hard. Okay, um, <laughs> do you need a moment or. <laughs> This is from who? Whose refrigerator was this? Uh, you said uh, it's on the top. Only have cheese, mango, Brooke, and half okay. melon. Okay. Wow. Brooke. Um. <laughs> hi, Brooke. Are you? Are you okay, Brooke? Are you, are you really sure you have only this in your fridge? Uh, <laughs> uh, what you can probably do is just slice them and just put it on top of each other like a platter. I think uh, he uh, he or she. I think it's she. She okay. eats outside then drinks <laughs> at home. Oh. oh okay. Okay. So maybe I think I have to make uh, something super Korean out of this. Okay, super yeah, okay. Korean. Super Korean. What can I make? Oh, well, usually we are we are provided with basic ingredients like uh, chili okay. powder, soy yes. sauce, and things. Okay. Maybe I think I can make uh, apple, mango, and watermelon kimchi. Oh. Wow. Mm. Well, uh, this uh, the red part of mm -hmm. Watermelon can be just eaten as uh -huh. a, as a fruit. Okay. Ah, so the towards and the, the appeal. Yes. Yeah. And the white part, <gasps> the, white parts. the crunchy white part, mm -hmm. and the apple mango is a bit harder than, of course, mm -hmm. uh, watermelon. So uh, have it chopped in cube sizes, then mix a little bit of fish sauce, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sugar, mm -hmm. crushed garlic, uh -huh. and what did I say? Fish sauce. Uh, sugar. Crushed garlic. sugar, crushed garlic, crushed garlic, chili powder. Chili mm -hmm. powder. Then you just mix it. Mm -hmm. Then it's uh, salty, mm -hmm. sweet, sweet, and spicy. spicy. Oh. Then the sourness of apple mango and the crunchiness of watermelon white part uh -huh. mixed together. <gasps> They go super well. It tastes wow. something like gakdugi, oh, the yeah. radish kimchi yeah. in Korea. Yeah. You know, actually, uh, with the um, the watermelon pill, they sometimes make like jangachi, like oh the, my gosh. The similar yeah. or namul buchim stir. Right, 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 right. Oh, okay, well, Brooke, that's what you're gonna have for dinner today, right? <laughs> Find yourself with the garlic, ch uh, chili powder, sugar, and fish sauce. Fish fish sauce. sauce. Then you you got yourself uh, apple mango and watermelon oh kimchi gosh. tonight. Wow. Woo! And I it, just have to clap for this. Yeah, it goes very well with spirits. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> spirits, right? Yeah. Well, Ooh. this is not rated R, so yeah, we can yeah. actually mention, talk yeah. about yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Mm, okay, so that was our mm -hmm. first fridge. Can we please have a picture Ooh. of our next refrigerator? Wow. Uh, a lot of tortillas, things. eggs. We, okay, we have tortilla, we have milk. We have wow. beef broth. I'm, I'm really wondering what this Sour is. Cream. Oh, Do you have an explanation on the top? Or? What is the thing on the top left right there? This looks like chicken. In the that looks like chicken, right? Ziploc yeah. mm -mm. bag. Beef? There's, is, there, is there something like... Grind, grind We're going to have the Bulgogi? answer because huh. Aaron is actually in the chat right now. So oh, okay. Aaron, please let us know what you have in the top left over there. Yeah, in, in the, the Ziploc zip bags. Yes, yes like what a... is this? What please is let us know. What is it? I'm, I'm really, I'm curious because it seems like minced beef right. okay. cooked. But huh. but luckily we have more ingredients than oh. the refrigerator before. <laughs> uh, uh, Tigrish Eeyore said it's brown. browned brown hamburger. hamburger. Oh, okay. <laughs> that is Aaron. So <laughs> oh, brown hamburger is on this side. Okay. Wow. And then we have tortilla. Okay, now I don't think it's as bad as the one before. Uh, well, actually, the first one was good too, but this mm. one actually has definitely has a lot more ingredients. Mm -hmm. Can I see the like you know the, the bottom? second uh, bottom? Oh, Aaron also says the one next to it was chicken. Yeah. It was. Oh, Congrats, yeah, it was you chicken. have chicken. Yeah, I have chicken there. <laughs> wow, and I have eggs, eggs. and everything. Yep, um, beef broth, sour cream, mm. milk. This if you like have. Bread? Yeah, this, this bagels, maybe. Bagels. bagels. 
but I see this beef broth thing. Beef broth? Uh -huh. beef okay. Broth. So, with beef broth. I oh, yeah. <laughs> but with beef broth yes. and chicken, maybe yes. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to julien. I'm going to slice the chicken into the matchstick sizes. Uh -huh. Okay. And I'm going to stir fry it with lots of uh, chopped onions. Uh -huh. Then put uh, put maybe he eats tortilla. So yes. right. he, he must he should he or she should have uh, chili powder at home. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make chicken champong. Chicken, oh. chicken champong out of it. Then wow. Because we have a broth. Okay. With the broth. Nice. Then uh, I hope. She or he has oyster sauce because sometimes oyster the sauce? oyster sauces are given. Mm -hmm. Okay. So stir fry, uh, onion, chopped onion, chopped chicken with a little bit of uh, chili powder, lots of oil, oyster sauce, and soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Then it becomes a super thick red oh my stir fry. Then pour beef broth over <gasps> it. Then, wow. wow. Then it, it the the broth becomes red and spicy yeah, and nice. yeah, full of kamchilmat umami. Then oh my goes gosh. super well with rice. Okay, wow. well, Aaron, <laughs> let us know if you ever try this. And we Perfect actually tonight. have a very special last refrigerator. Wow. Please show us. Only water? We have... Ooh. This is actually Ashley, our DJ's oh. refrigerator. Ashley's, hi. Yeah, you hey. can call her out now. You can say everything you want to say. Mm, things are very well arranged. It seems like, you know, she arranged everything before it's right, on before TV, Right, before the picture. Yeah, obviously, because <laughs> I know how it. she is. I see kimchi. Um, I see milk, uh, milk, tangerine, samjang. Wow. But is that is that leftover leftover sushi S salad or where? Sushi? Salad? Here, here, here. I think it's strawberry. Oh, it's, it's strawberry. strawberry. Oh, 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 that's strawberry. Okay. Mm, uh, yogurt. yogurt. Oh. There's meshi, chongmeshi, uh -huh. cider, sprite. Obviously, she puts mesh inside a cider for a drink. I don't see any, like, main <laughs> ingredients, main ingredient. though. Oh, I'm what's really... that in a paper bag? That's what Ashley, what's, what's up with your fridge? Or at the center, <laughs> the, is it, like, uh, chicken breast things? or? I think it's chicken breast. Chicken breast yeah. or nuts? Yeah, it says oh. chicken breast, I think. Uh, chicken breast, right? Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, it's chicken yeah. breast. Okay, yeah. so in that case... I'm going to chop kimchi okay. and chop uh, her chicken breast, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then wash or rinse rice. Then I'm going to make kimchi chicken pot rice. Ooh, wow. pot rice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to use a little bit of samjang that she has. Uh -huh. right. I'm going to stir fry spring onion, garlic, kim chopped kimchi, chopped... Uh, chicken breast okay. with a little bit of samjang in it. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to pour rinsed rice over it, uh -huh. stir it, have a little bit of rice into it. Then I'm going to steam it uh -huh. in a pot and oh. it becomes ching kimchi chicken. Oh, you were like... <sighs> <laughs> As you Are explain you okay? it, I can imagine, yeah, imagine. Just the like, flavor, like, right? Yeah, the flavor comes and up. And if she has, of course, if she has a little bit of cheese, maybe I'm going to put cheese over it a little uh -huh. bit. Well, we actually have the owner trying to talk to us herself about it. Oh, yeah? Ashley just called us, so maybe you can <laughs> scold her directly. You can, yeah. you know, have ask real her. Ingredients. Oh, there's actually yes. nothing to scold her. She has kind of like, you know, what is this? Okay, well, <laughs> well, hello, yeah, no Ashley. Hey, Ash. Hi. Hi, Ashley. <laughs> hello. It's very well arranged fridge. I swear, it's always like that. I just stacked everything on top of each other. <laughs> okay, well, where are your main ingredients, Ashley? I don't have, but Chef Benio, I do have, um, what what is it called? Takasim Sire, chicken breast in the freezer yeah. that's, oh. that's what i'm seeing that's yeah what I'm okay seeing. i have yogurt um and then i have kimchi and then i have milk okay so did you listen to the recipe he was explaining for you to make kimchi chicken breast pot rice 
Yeah, but I don't have rice. <gasps> oh! Ashley! <laughs> okay, I'll send um, you rice. Okay, Key will right send you rice. Show. I'm super okay. sad. I mean, rice is easy to get, right? I can yeah. just run to the convenience store. Right, okay. Yes. Yeah. So okay. once your quarantine is over, make sure to run to the convenience store, buy the rice, and try out you want your ship and use recipe. Kimchi soppa, please. I'll, I'll, I'll send you rice. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Kimchi <laughs> soppa. And, and then the bottom, bottom con, the, the bo- most bottom is all my face stuff, face pack. It's face mask. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I Just thought they were like... Uh, chocolate. I thought it was chocolate. <laughs> yeah, I thought there was something else. <laughs> Can we put that in the pot rice? (laughs) (laughs) Can we put that in the pot rice? Make it shiny. That's exactly why you shouldn't cook. (laughs) I know, no cooking for me. But anyways, thank you. Thank you, Ashley. Feel better. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, that was a pleasant surprise from the actual owner of Radio Clock. (laughs) Well, we have a very special corner after this as well. So we're going to go listen to a song. Um, and we have something by Key after this, so mm-hmm. don't leave, guys. It's going to be... Please don't. Don't leave. Um, we're going to go listen to Thomas Do It For Love featuring Georgie, and we'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> 어딜 향해 달려 넌 끝도 없이 밟어 Why? 아직 뭔가를 찾는 너와 나 한심하다는 건 절대 아냐 oh. Why you keep on falling? falling down 괜히 고민을 하는 너 yeah. 아직도 우린 너무 몰라 yeah. oh. We keep on falling down. Cause you monkey load or I got your way. I just go with him all our way. I just wanna know why we keep on dripping. Cause when we do it for love, yeah, still gonna move to the low. But never travel home. No put on the girl no more. Oh. That you wanna dance to? Oh, yeah. Arirang. Arirang. 
Arirang Radio. All right, we're back with Radio Clock Tea Time Thursday. A couple messages uh, from our listeners. Uh, this is from Benedict. Good afternoon, Iris Ash from home, Chef Wanye. What about my name? <laughs> and tea. Kinky. Kinky. Radio Clock Team and everyone, happy Thursday. I have a question to Chef Wanye. Uh, what is the best Korean food to pair with kimchi and what Korean food is that is perfect for meat lovers like me, even for dinner? Have a great day, guys. Ooh. Kimchi. Yes. Korean ramen. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Oh. Okay. That was my lunch. That I, was my lunch. I cannot resist. Even though I'm a chef and mm-hmm. I cook for life, mm-hmm. then I know lots of ingredients. Mm-hmm. Ramyeon and kimchi. Ramyeon wow, and kimchi. I can't resist. It makes me yeah. hungry again. I know it's super simple meal, but like especially uh, any kind of noodle mm-hmm. really goes well with kimchi. kimchi. Oh. Even even pasta. Oh, pasta, yeah. pasta um, uh, Chinese noodle, noodle, Japanese udon, mm-hmm. Korean kalguksu. Yeah. Okay, okay. They okay. all go very well with kimchi. So, so kimchi, noodle. noodles. Noodles and kimchi. Actually, I sometimes make uh, kimchi pasta too. Just pasta oh, yeah. noodle okay, with okay. kimchi and a little bit mm. of, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, anchovy. 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 Yeah, it's it's perfect. Mm. perfect. Yeah. Yes. And can you recommend a type of like meat for like, or like a type of Korean dish for meat lovers? For the meat lovers, Wow. Mm. I mean, Korean meat itself is just so good. Yeah, like, right. there's pangi, hanu. hanu. Mm-hmm. When it comes to hanu, it's like another level. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, for sure. Uh, but I just I just don't recommend really specific part or specific uh, portion of meat. Mm-hmm. But I recommend to buy the table. The right. table. Oh. The Korean table where you can have grills at the center of... Uh, the shiktak, the right, table. Right, right. Oh. Then you can actually grill any type of meat right. on it. You know, on it, a uh-huh. perfect way. Okay, so, meat lovers, please go, go get, get yourself a table. Table. Yeah. And while the song was playing, we we were looking at a video. Yeah, the familiar person, familiar, familiar face, face was on the TV. <laughs> and our chef Iwonyo was taking notes, notes. as well. Right. So this we is actually have... quite a few times where I get super nervous because be, it feels no. like I'm being a Addition no, for right, this. Right. Um, so a couple hours before I came to the studio, I literally made a dish for uh, our special guest one in. So literally, it was like nengjango to putake. I took some ingredients out of my uh, freezer, and it took literally eight and a half minutes. If you look at the full video, eight uh, and, and a half, half minutes. Only. So uh, wow. it was a very simple dish. Um, I'm gonna explain it when it's served here. here. Can we have it, please? Yay! This Yay. is Keith's dish. <laughs> Woo-hoo. So uh, whenever you feel like you're, uh, you know, wow. you have imat up, so like you don't know what to eat, then um, I just uh, you make that. So that's a uh, uh, salted polack raw, raw? Uh, with some sea salt in there. Okay, I mean, sea okay. sal- I mean salted shrimp in there with green onion um, and oh. green young green pumpkin with okay. some dry uh, shrimp. The smell is already. Very, very good. Um, and then to give extra flavor, I added some of a uh, uh, hot pepper, uh, Korean hot pepper in there. The Cheonggyeongguk thing, yes. right? Wow. So uh, give it My a try. My mouth is watering now. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, I, can, I, can, I, can I eat? Yes, oh, yeah, yes. 드시라고. Right? Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank 드시고, you. 네. Mm. 밥이랑 일단, 흰밥이랑. Yeah. 저는 어떤 맛인지 아니까 아이리스랑 둘이 oh. 세 갈게요. 그러면 제가 아이리스한테 이것도 이렇게 해서. 네. The so... This is the dish with the soup. And then Iris told me she didn't have lunch. So, yeah, it's going to be a nice meal for you. It's actually my honor to have... <gasps> Yay, let's try it right to now. to serve you. With someone, someone literally cooked this for me this morning. Yes. I'm Three hours before the show. <gasps> wow. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Can please I? Please try it. Yes, please try mm. it. <gasps> Mm. Oh my wow. gosh. Oh, the, the balance is crazy. <gasps> Thank you. It's not salty. It's not sweet. It has lots of flavor. So it's just right. And it's warm. Mm. So it kind of like, you know, makes this, like, you know, my whole mm. energy super warm. And it's so cold today, right? So it's yes. perfect. Wow. Kind of spicy as well. So you want to have it with the rice probably. Mm. <gasps> yeah, oh my god. I, I actually uh, wrote 
many things to talk about <laughs> when the video was playing. Uh, like, I wrote this much. Wow. <laughs> but like, you know, after I had one sip of this soup. It's just so good. No, <laughs> it's, no it's... What un- should I do to make it better? Wow. Oh my gosh. Mm, you guys, this is just so good. It's so wintry. Mm. It's the perfect thing to eat in the winter. And it's... Mm. I, I was actually like contemplating if it's gonna be good or not i was like oh but it's actually so good oh my gosh after the show i'm actually gonna eat this with the rice oh my gosh can you let's rate it out of five stars um for me iris for you it's i'm not even gonna lie this is a five out of five right right oh my gosh Mm -hmm. this is Cause I was, it was so cold today as well, and I was like shivering before the show. It's so good. Okay, how about our chef? Well, I usually give super high points for those dishes that you know make me remind of drinking something alcoholic. <laughs> okay, okay. Wow. Then this is right. Wow. Yeah. Perfect for the weather. Perfect for my like uh, body. Yeah, my warming body. Up. That, Perfect for the emotion. Wow. Of course, there's nothing perfect, so it's 4.9. 4.9. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. It's really nice. For those of you um, who would like to know how to make those, uh, I'll put it on my personal YouTube or YouTube for mm-hmm. Arirang Radio or something. It's only six, seven minute long uh, mm-hmm. work of food so it's you can easily make them okay thank you so can, much key can yes? i can i just make it like in you know, a few comments on like no, you know, 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 ah, yeah, yeah, you know well, i really <laughs> wrote many things but like okay, you know please his, his stove was super clean uh-huh. his chopping board was super clean uh-huh. but has the marks of knives <gasps> it shows that he regularly cooks at home oh. so it proves that he's very good cook oh. then his knife was really sharp Oh. Using sharp knife, sharp knife is even safer than right. using dull knife. So, Ooh. like, I was able to see all the things in the short video. Then, uh, the ingredients that are frequently used are chopped and frozen already. So he really loves to cook. Then, that's why, like, you know, we were able to enjoy the flavors of different mm. many different ingredients because like, he doesn't really have to buy all those things for the single right. dishes so right. he is a super good c- cook, cook. Wow. <laughs> oh <my gosh>. <laughs> <laughs> well we have to leave now yes. unfortunately but oh. thank you so much for being with us today uh, yes yeah. we will have you back again did you have a fun time to go to job of course I think I have to uh, next time I'm going to bring some bread. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you very much. We're going to listen to our last song. It's by Zion T. Mogoyo, and this has been Iris and Key. Bye, guys. Bye. Mogoyo. <laughs> <laughs> Paranunga, 그러면 이따 내가 칭찬해줄게요 보고 싶어 많이 좋아해요 더 많이 하나 주고 싶어요 사랑 사랑 비슷한 걸 해요 어쩌면 정말 사랑해요 배고플 때이 노래를 사과처럼 꺼내 먹어요 피곤해도 아침 점심밥 좀 챙겨 먹어요 그러면 이따 